Hey there. I'm Michael Roger here, and today I'm going to talk about the first time I saw the movie 13 Going on 30. At the time the movie came out, I was working as an usher at a movie theater, so a lot of times I could come into movies to see parts of them, and of course I'd be there when they would end, so I'd clean them up. By the way, if you do not like spoilers or seeing the endings before the rest of the movie, do not be an usher. But I don't mind knowing how it ends. Actually, like when I see the ending first, then I see more of it. I know things that might make sense later on. That's still kind of fun. Anyway, that movie came out. I saw the poster, the commercials. I thought, I thought it looked good. Though it took a while before I saw the whole movie. Like, I thought Jennifer Garner looked cute. It's supposed to be she was in her, her nightgown. Mm -hmm. I kind of like the concept of being a teenager who becomes an adult. It had a lot, a lot less so about the 1980s. Like, I'm a big fan of the 80s. I think my 80s fan was starting to kick in around, around that time. Yeah, of course I was working in the movie theater, a lot of times I'd be there like, at the very end. I heard, like, heard two, two songs I would be like, like, first of all I can remember them. I remember like, at the end, I hear the song Crazy For You, I thought, yeah, that's an awesome song. And then the end credits, they played It Loves a Battlefield, that was also an awesome song. So two of my favorites. <laughs> but first time I saw the whole movie came a few years later, I was sick one day, I was watching TV and that was on, so I watched the whole thing. I liked it, and then a few years later I watched it on Netflix. I, it, it liked it again. In fact, the other year when I was 30, I watched it at least three th three or four times in full. Hmm. That's the first time I saw 13 going on 30.